Civil engineer at the University of the West Indies, Dr. Don Samuel, is questioning whether the newly formed road rehabilitation company will have enough material to fix the nation's roads, given that some contractors are now importing bitumen to execute projects. Since the closure of the Petrotrin refinery, bitumen is no longer produced locally. Dr. Samuel, who recently started a public petition calling for regular road maintenance, told CNC3 News that the new special purpose company has to operate with transparency. I would ask that the government kindly indicate how the $100 million startup cost is going to be equitably distributed among the nine regional corporations, two city corporations and three borough corporations. Given the delay in the proclamation of the Procurement Act, how is this newly registered special purpose company going to ensure transparency and value for money with respect to the execution of road rehabilitation and repair contracts? Well, over the past few months, protests over deteriorating roads and landslips have erupted in various parts of the country. According to the Public Sector Investment Program last year, over $736 million was invested in roads and bridges infrastructure throughout TNT.